Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for joining me. Joining me? Okay, let's try that again. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me uh, today. Um, hope you can hear me over these very loud chirping birds in the hedge next to me. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, we are gonna have a look at um, what you can expect on your very first driving lesson. Okie dokie, here we go. Okay, just one thing to firstly bear in mind is that obviously this is the way that I deliver lessons to my students. Um, what you might find is there's a slight variation to how your instructor kind of prepares and delivers the lesson, but roughly it's about the kind of same stuff. Okay, so even before the day of your lesson, we have had a conversation with you and your parents to establish um, if um, you've had any experience of driving at all, um, whether you've been involved in the kind of young driver program that's out there, um, and just kind of work out what you know and what you've done in the past. Um, we also perhaps have scheduled in lessons, so we've got the diary out and we've got a few lessons in the diary and done all that admin type stuff, making sure that your provisional has arrived and you've got it with you. Um, but also the important stuff, to make sure that we have a conversation about any medical issues that you have. Um, for, so for example, one of my students is a type 1 diabetic, so it's important to factor that in so when I collect them for the lesson, we know what um, their blood, blood glucose reading is so we can make sure that he's uh, is safe okay so on the day of your lesson um, we'll arrive obviously at your house um, just to bear in mind you're not the only one that's going to be nervous I can tell you now I and probably other instructors do get quite nervous before we arrive. Um, we want to make sure that you know we, we're going to do a good job, um, that it's important to get a rapport with you so that you feel comfortable and relaxed with us throughout your lessons. And that first few kind of moments, that kind of that, that first meeting stuff is really important. So again, we are quite nervous as well. a deal right ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick you can get high with me that's a deal right that's it. okay so we've arrived at your house um we're a bit nervous i'm i will definitely be a bit nervous on that first lesson uh and you've kind of walked out we've had a kind of hello how you doing quick chat with you one of the first things that um, you will be asked for is making sure that you've got your provisional license with you because we want to make sure that you have got that so we can take a copy and make a note of, of that. Also as well, I'll have a conversation with you perhaps as well about the shoes that you're wearing. You'll work out on your first few lessons that the shoes that you wear, wear are really important because what you do um, want to wear are quite thin soled shoes so that when you are um, finding the biting point and getting used to your, your pedals on the floor, you can kind of feel them a lot easier. If you're wearing quite thick soled shoes, it's not as easy. It's a very tactile um, activity is driving so it's important that you can kind of feel the pedal so your shoes are really important what we'll also quickly chat about before we set off is whether you need any kind of water refreshments always a good idea to bring some water with you on the on the lesson but as you get in the car it's really important that you're aware that when you sit in the passenger seat you're going to have two pedals on the floor there's been a couple of occasions where my students have not expected that and they've kind of put their feet out and they've kind of hit the pedals and um, it's perhaps caused the car to, to kind of break. So that's what we'll do when we arrive at your house. Okay, so we've set off on your first lesson and no doubt we are gonna go find somewhere that's a little bit quieter and a little bit out of the way to deliver your first lesson. Um, 
during this kind of this this journey i think for me it's really important to get to know you as much as i possibly can to kind of work out what your interests are um, you know are you at six farm are you working um, hobbies that kind of stuff um, i think it's also really crucial as well to understand what your expectations are of me and what your expectations are of the whole process of learning to drive so are you quite eager to pass you know it's about i know i've had some students that have um, expected to pass in a matter of weeks that might not be possible but it's also a, a good indication of where where you're at in the whole process um, and it's about again managing perhaps your expectations if you are quite eager to pass it it, it might happen don't get me wrong but it's it's important for us as instructors to know perhaps where you're at with that it's also really important as well um, for us to work out whether you've got any concerns about driving um, or you know whether you're really anxious about the whole prospect of driving um, and that again is our our role it's our responsibility to try to um, reduce those worries and those concerns um, if you're sat there and you are already quite anxious about the prospect of driving um, there is a, an online resource that you can tap into um, now it's called um, the course itself is called driving test nerves but it doesn't just focus on the driving test it focuses on driving generally so if you've got any concerns and you're anxious about driving this might be a, a resource that you might want to uh, have a look at now if that's something that you'd like to perhaps uh, tap into um, I do have a few free places available on this course generally you have to pay for the for the uh, for the course as a subscription but I have got a few free spaces um, if that's something that you are interested in then pre please drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you on that um, I'll also put a link to that course as well so we've arrived at the destination for your first lesson. The first thing that tends to happen is we will do a quick eyesight check just to verify that you can see the required distance, which is approximately 20 meters. So what I do is I'll, I'll get you out of the car, stand about 20 meters away from my car, and I'll ask you to read my number plate. And that shouldn't be an issue. One of the things as well to bear in mind is if you obviously do wear glasses, don't forget them for your first lesson. And obviously your other lessons as well. Um, once you've done that, then you'll sit in this side of the car and you'll get comfortable. And generally what I do at this point is um, I just go through kind of the paperwork, the admin type stuff. So um, I'll just check out your provisional license and make a note of that information. Um, and then we'll go through a, a progress record to kind of talk about what we're going to be covering on this lesson. Um, what again is really important is to not, I, I don't have any preconceived ideas of where you are at. I have absolutely no idea what we're going to do in this first lesson. So it's very much based on you. On, on this first lesson and all the lessons moving forward so kind of a bit of paperwork to go through um, I've got some terms and conditions as well that I'll ask you to sign and it's a bit of a contract for me driving lessons are about what I'm expecting from you it's what you can also expect from me so it's things like cancellation policy that sort of stuff so just some basic terms and conditions of the lessons once you've done that then perhaps what you might go on to talk about is your theory and your theory test now i know for some of you this is something that you perhaps aren't overly fussed about but for me i do stress the importance of uh, revising for your theory test and then using it throughout your lessons um, don't see your theory test as separate to driving driving for me is not just about moving the car forwards and backwards it's having those skills of observation planning anticipation um, hazard awareness and all those things are covered within the theory test um, so it's things like for example when you're driving it's been able to understand what that road sign means um, being able to work out what is the speed of this road because i cannot tell you the number of times students say to me damo what is the speed of this road and it's about right well how do you recognize that how would you work that out because when it comes to your test the examiner will not give you any heads up about that so again it's important to, to talk about that um, for my students I use the theory app theory test pro um, and I give access to my students on that yes there's other apps available for, but for me uh, theory test pro is probably one of the better ones out there on the market 
And once you've done that and got all that kind of paperwork out of the way, then we're going to move on to getting you set up in the car. So getting comfortable and getting your driving position sorted. So adjusting the seat and the mirrors and talking about all that kind of stuff um, and just making you comfortable and kind of going through some of those areas with you. Um, I have got videos um, and I'll add a card above that talk about your very first lesson in terms of the controls, um, about the, what the clutch does and how to move the car. So I won't, obviously won't go into that on this lesson, but there is videos out there that you might want to have a look at. So once you've kind of got you comfortable in the car and we've talked about your mirror use and the, the seating position, we're then going to introduce you to get in the car, moving uh, slowly forwards and stopping. And from that point it's really about wh where you're up to there's clearly no expectations from me about what we're going to achieve on this lesson so i have no idea from that point how the lesson will pan out for some students um, they drive home um, on that first lesson but for others they're just not that straight they're not ready to do that so again from that point you'll find that your lesson does vary depending on your skill level Okay, that's the end of your first lesson. Um, no doubt it's gone pretty quickly and you've really enjoyed it and can't wait for the next lesson to come around. Um, on the way back, uh, again, whether you're driving or whether your instructor's driving you home, it's really important that you kind of have a chance to recap what's just happened. So ask any questions that perhaps you're perhaps a little bit nervous to ask on the way to, to your lesson or perhaps never thought about. So again, it's important for you to kind of have that opportunity to ask questions. Um, what I tend to do at the end of the lesson is to set the objective for your next lesson. So there's a real clear goal as to perhaps what we're hopefully going to achieve. Now, again, objectives setting in whatever context it's important that you set the objective it's not my objective it's very much your objective um, so again it's perhaps a conversation that we have around that um, it might be a conversation that we need to manage to manage your expectation that that's perhaps not going to be possible on the next lesson but again it's something that you you lead and you're very much in the driving seat for Oh, that's a really bad pun. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, what you might also just kind of do is quick admin bits. So just make sure you've got your next lesson scheduled in and that you've got other lessons in the diary. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. Hope you've um, enjoyed that. Um, but in the meantime, what would be great is if you can um, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further video notifications. In the meantime, look after yourself, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.